What's up everyone? This is Kantanaka Wish for Fish, giving you tips, bringing you on adventures, and taking you on the water. I'm excited because in this box I have the brand new Ross Colorado and I'm going to be doing a review on it coming up. I am super excited to introduce and show you the new Ross Colorado. The Colorado LT was first introduced in 2016 at the 550 show. Matter of fact, that was the reel that really opened my eyes to Ross. I was looking at purchasing an F1 back in the day, but this was the first reel that got me to pull the trigger and to purchase a Ross. Now, the Colorado LT was Ross's first rebranding or redesign, and it was the first one to start using the canvas micarta uh, handle, and it was the first one to kind of set the tone for what's coming up with Ross. Now this was and still is one of my favorite reels. Click and Paul is generally one of my favorites as far as Trout's concerned and the look of it was fantastic and I was kind of uncertain when they first mentioned that they were redoing the Colorado LT, now the Colorado. Now, if you follow me on social media, you have been seeing me use the reel on my last trip and posting pictures of it on the down low, but this will be the first time you get to see it up close. All right, so let's see what's inside. If you're familiar with Ross reels, you notice that everything is pretty much the same. You do have the sticker and also the uh, warranty reminder. Now, the first thing you'll notice that is different is actually the reel case. They decided to upgrade the reel case. You notice that there is now now piping on the outside rim. Uh, there is a logo now on both sides and the stitching is a little bit cleaner. Uh, they also have more Velcro uh, on this side, which is actually really good because now you can easily put it in with the rod uh, along with the real case, which I think is really nice with the uh, added Velcro. Here we go. Now, as mentioned, the old one was my favorite reel, and I wasn't sure when they said that they were gonna do a redesign that that was actually a good idea. And until you see the one in your hand, you're like, okay, now I can see why you redid it. Uh, they really knocked it out of the park as far as design is concerned. So one major difference is that the feature side on the old one is actually the side with the handle. And the new one, it is, great looking but it's actually the other side that is kind of like the feature side uh, which is actually uh, something that I think was a great change because that was uh, one of the things I didn't like about the old one was the opposite side. I just didn't think it looked very good and they really uh, cleaned up the look of it. They hid the clicker with pretty much the, the Colorado badge. Uh, now that the clicker is also in a 90 degree position, which is a straight up and down position, there is no need for a right and left switch. It is a universal position for right or left left, uh, which is uh, also a new change in the new one to the old one. I really love the new look and design of the Colorado. It's got a real natural, organic look to it. It's almost like a Frank Gehry piece uh, where they're using a lot of curves and uh, almost like natural design look to it. Uh, and the funny thing is, is the old one wasn't a boxy at all, but when you put it up to the new one, it really is uh, a different look to it. Uh, this is more of a classic hockey puck shape, and there's really nothing classic about this, but this one, is, you notice that it has an asymmetrical shape to it. Uh, the curves on it are so different. Convex side on this and a concave side on this side. All the lines are curved and smooth and rounded, and it is just amazing looking. Now, another major difference between the two is that they went from a gloss to a matte black. I really like that change. It really makes it look sharp and uh, real stealthy looking. As you see, they stuck with the canvas micarta handle. And another huge difference as far as design is concerned is now that it is a caged uh, reel. And what I mean by that is that you notice that if you pop it out, that now this is caged and the line actually goes through here. And so uh, this prevents the line from uh, getting sucked in through the reel. And now it is kind of like a half caged 
real. That's the thing I love about Ross is they're not only innovating with their design, but also with the materials that they're using because they're using a new material called Vesconite, which is actually a material that's already being used on high-speed trains and as well as uh, offshore drilling rigs and as well as water pumps, uh, mainly because of their high load bearing strength and as well as their low friction and low wear, but uh, mainly because it doesn't require lube because it is a self-lubricating material, if you will. And those are the kind of things that Ross does to constantly try to improve on an already superior product. I really love how it feels. It feels really solid. Uh, I really love the way it sounds. Um, now you could really tell a difference as far as the machining is concerned. There's zero play in the reel and you could feel a little bit of play in the older one, but this one has a real solid feel to it. The sound has got a deeper clicker noise uh, than the older, it's got a more higher pitch clicker uh, as uh, the, the newer definitely has like a deeper sound and I really like that as well. There's nothing better than a click and paw screaming on the river. Can't beat that. Now the new Ross Colorado will be available in November and will be retailing for $335, will be available in the platinum and the black, and will also only be available in the 2-3 and the 4-5. Uh, this is the 4-5, and then you notice it is considerably larger than the older LT model 4-5. I think the 2-3 and the 4-5 are perfect options for this reel. It is a great trout reel. Uh, cook and paw is all you need. Uh, matter of fact, I caught one of my biggest trout on a click and paw and matter of fact it was a Ross Colorado LT. I think a click and paw is the true essence of fly fishing. Uh, you know it's basically manual everything. You're not relying on a mechanism. You're relying on yourself and your skills to, to slow it down uh, and that's what fly fishing is all about. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you like what you saw, please do like, share, or comment below. Leave me some of your thoughts on the new Colorado. I would love to hear them. Don't forget to take a look at our website at wishforfish.com. And if you're on social media, give us a follow at wishforfish. And I'll see you on the water.